Hello and I'm going to do a video that was requested by a lot of people. It's to have a look at the Polish, and I'll read the name off of the box, PKM66 gas mask testing kit. Um, it says that there. Now, unfortunately, I don't know if I'll be able to demonstrate it properly because it seems quite complicated to actually use and the instructions are all in Polish. But we're going to have a go anyway and see what happens. So let's open it up. Now, there's quite a lot in here. So there's like a bicycle pump style thing in the roof of it there that you can't really see in the camera frame. I'll just pull this slightly further forwards because there's nothing interesting on this bit. Um, now this is all, this had broken off in postage when it arrived. Obviously, B Store sent me this for free, so um, I'm not going to complain really about that. But obviously, I don't know if this kit's going to work with this bit being broken, so we'll see. Because um, that would have sat there uh, with that bit connected to there. It will still actually, because uh, I can undo this screw. It will still, if I get this in here correctly. It will still sort of screw on to there, but obviously I can't do much else with it. So that's that bit on there. Now in here you've got your main pump unit. You lift this up and it drops down and then air blows out of that section. Um, you've also got these, whatever these are for. So I'll put them on the side. You've got like what's basically air tubing. You've also got this, which is obviously some sort of measuring type thing. The bit in the middle can slide either side, and you can connect the airline to it there. Uh, you know, there's quite a lot of little bits on here where I'm not sure what all of them do. So we'll pop that around the back for a moment until we get everything out. There's some rubber seals and sort of bits in there. There's the book which I'll briefly show you because I know people who are Polish watch my videos so they might be able to actually read some of the stuff from in here. Like I said, if you're interested in a particular bit, pause on it. But um, That's it showing obviously some of the contents of the box and I guess what they do, which I can't understand what they do. So obviously it's showing you connecting some stuff to that bit there, I guess. I don't know if some of these are sort of pre-assembled that one. This one. And it looks like it's got a filter being demonstrated um, here. Another thing where it looks like a filter with a line in and a line out of it. Now this is an even more interesting one. It's got um the MUA style on 14 mask and it's got the hose with an airline going into it from the bicycle pump then that bit clamps the mask shut then at the back but does a cable come out of the back of the mask because it looks like two might be that but it's hard to tell so yeah I'm not exactly sure about that Looks like a rebreather or something set up there with all the equipment on it. So sort of stuff, not sure exactly what it is. So anyway, I think what's going to be easiest if we look at all the components and have a play about with it, um, rather than trying to, you know, work out the manual. So let's get the pipe out as well, or the hose, whatever you want to call it. So here we go. We've got the hose here, which. Um, it's actually two separate hoses. Oh, three separate hoses. Okay, so there's this one. I'm not sure if you're meant to squeeze that bit in the middle, but obviously that pumps air out. Um, obviously, you can attach these to different bits in the kit. So we'll put this one on the very left side. We'll pick the one up that fell on the floor. But that's just a um, length of hose like that. Then here's the length of hose with... Um, like the clamp on it. Now there's another bit of hose but this is attached to the actual sort of air pump assembly there so not sure exactly what that does. And then we've also got some little loose bits and those are the bits of the uh, metal casing. So that looks like some sort of T-junction pipe 
another one with a stopper on this one. Cork there, whether or not this one fell off of a cork, I'm not sure, like a rubber stopper. There's also some bits where you can attach stuff here, which unscrews. Does this have anything interesting underneath? So yeah, again, not sure exactly what this is used for, so I'll just screw that back in. So there's a loose bit of that pipe there. And there's a bottle that's long since gone empty that was tucked in there. I'm not sure if this is like smelling salts or something, but I did open it and have a sniff, and I think that's long since dried up what was ever in there. So quite a lot of stuff in there, but obviously no idea really what much of it does. So we'll get a mask and we'll see if we can figure out how to assemble everything first. We'll try it with a mask and a filter. Right, an EO14 filter. Let's sit that on there, which I think was shown in one of the pictures, if it sort of sits well enough. And if I pump this, does air come out the top? Yeah, I can feel air coming out the top of the EO14 there. So is there now a way of um, actually connecting the EO14 to something um, to chat, test how much air goes through it? Let's just quickly look at the pictures in the book and see if we can somehow work it out. It actually looks like they're showing it the opposite way around in this picture, so let's do that. Yeah, there is air coming out doing that. But does it actually get wired up to anything? This is the interesting thing. There's one where they show some sort of thing in it. I don't know if that's this little. Let's try this. Or does that somehow... I was going to say, does that screw into there, but it can't due to the um, thing. Ah, but this also comes down. Okay. Right, so. I would assume that you can screw this into here like that. Yep, and you can screw that into the top. Okay, now we can start attaching air lines to it. So I'm assuming that the air lines would plug into some of the measuring equipment, and then... I mean, what happens if we put one of these cables from here onto one of these bits? Now, the other thing I'm worried about is because of the age of these cables and sort of the nozzles, are these just going to simply rip when I try and get them on there? Because I don't have any Vaseline, really, or anything to um, try and ease those on with. I suppose we're not going to read anything too scientific with this kit, so it doesn't matter too much. Right, there's one cable in there. Let's see what happens now. There's still air coming out there, but I don't know if air comes out this pipe as well. Let's have a feel. Oh. No, air doesn't come out that pipe, and that's just falling off again. So, um, let me stop this a minute and see if I can figure out anything else. Right, let's attempt a very basic of uh, experiment. I don't even know if it's going to work. So, um, what we're going to do is pop this filter onto the pump again and I've got this thing um, here so let's see if anything happens well we're forcing coloured liquid to move around in there but other than that I don't really know what that tells us it's just all pulling at the bottom and not doing anything but we'll carry on doing it but I really need some sort of stopper for the other um, bit So I think, really, unless I block that other bit up, it's not going to help us much. I don't know if this can be used, like one of these cork type things to do that. Nope. Um, 
Now I'm a bit stuck here really, how I'm meant to wire this up. I mean I can always put another wire maybe into that bit, but... Oh, I've pulled that wire off of the pump it was on. I don't know if that will affect anything. Hmm. This whole thing is a bit confusing to me, really. Um, so like I said, we've got this here, which I don't know which way up that has to sit, um, which we can pump some air into. As you can see the coloured liquid in there that moves when you move the thing as well, so I assume that would have to be in a certain position to actually be used in tests, which obviously I have no clue. Uh, let's try the other thing at the back and see if we can do anything with that. Okay, so you might be able to see I've managed to get the connector on there. So let's put this back round. Oh, we found it without knocking everything. It's flying. Right, um, I'm afraid there's not really much I can tell you about this gas mask testing kit because I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing. Um, you know, I think you probably want to buy these for the novelty factor of having them. They're kind of interesting, but as I said, uh, I don't really know if there's anything practical you can actually do with these because um, of just, you know, how antiquated everything is. Uh, I do know that on eBay and that if you want to shell out a load of money, which I may do at some stage, I don't know, you can buy modern gas mask testing kits, which I think essentially have a pipe going into somewhere, a pipe going out of it, and then you kind of run a circuit and it tests how much airflow escapes from the circuit. Um, however, one of these things I think you'd mostly buy for the novelty factor of it. Due to the age, I think a lot of these bits probably don't work. Um, obviously I don't speak Polish so the instructions are really confusing um, you know I'm just trying to look at the pictures and the pictures don't really explain much because you can't see where wires are going in obviously I've not tested an actual gas mask with this today I've just tested a filter but I think that kind of shows you enough because if I can't get any readings from that really um, you know I won't be able to get any readings from a gas mask by putting even more wires into stuff but primarily how this works is you have a pump you pull up air comes out of there and then you can put things through and I guess measure how much air comes through which I can't really do so if you want to get one of these uh, the link to Beastor's uh, eBay page will be below again thank you for sending him this for free I'm kind of glad I didn't pay anything for this to be honest um, again for novelty factor they are quite interesting um, but obviously due to its age and you know everything like that stuff on this might be broken so I'd only really buy it if you have a real interest in this sort of stuff um, Otherwise, I think you're going to be disappointed because, sort of, as said, the issue of these is I can't really figure out how much works on it. Um, and again, unless you speak Polish, uh, you're not going to be able to read all the manual. And without the manual, this thing is double Dutch. But I think it does show you how antiquated some of this old equipment is, you know, compared to what we have today. Um, I do think that purple liquid that was in the bottle is basically what you're meant to fill up a load of this stuff with, and then I'm assuming the air displaces the liquid to, um, you know, give you a reading, but that's easier said than done when um, you've got a kit with an antiquated stuff where the liquid's all dried out and everything else. Uh, so I'm just trying to reseal this up now, which I can't do, which is great. Um, yeah, as you can see, that's not the easiest thing in the world, trying to, there we go. You've got this silly little wire around it as well, um, which doesn't help. That's in a nuppet. It's just come off. Well, who cares? Uh, so yeah, as said, uh, I'm gonna have to try and find a way of repacking this where nothing sits in its proper positions because, uh, like I said, that's broken. Uh, can I just take this off at the side because it doesn't really need to be on there, does it? If it's broken. that in there. Um, I haven't really showed you the bicycle pump, so there's also an egg timer, oh, oh shit, there's also an egg timer there, so you can do that, but yeah, this works fine. So you do get a bicycle pump, um, sort of thing. So yeah, there's one of those. Um, I like how it says something like about 
Sporto Ergo. So um, I bet this isn't even like, you know, a proper pump for the cassette. They just put a random bicycle pump or something in here as well. Um, you know, the communists when they had this set. So, as said, I'm afraid I can't really tell you much about the set because I have no idea how to work it. Um, everything kind of just falls off and is flimsy. Um, I mean, if you're really into this stuff, you'll probably get some enjoyment about one of these sets, but uh, I think for somebody like me, these are kind of useless because, you know, um, you're not going to get an accurate reading, I don't think, from anything in here because of how broken and sort of old it is. So, there you go. A big thanks for him to sending it me anyway. As I, as I said, I don't want to put you off getting one if you're actually really into this sort of stuff, but... As I said, I just think due to the age and everything else, if you wanted a serious gas mask testing kit, these are probably not the way to go. Um, like I said, I might look into getting a modern sort of equivalent of this, which takes up a tenth of the space and is a lot more user friendly. But if you're interested in this old antiquated stuff, here you go, you've got a good set. I mean, what you could potentially do is um, clear out all the other stuff in here, I guess, and use it as a lockbox of some sort, um, with the egg timer in and the pump, for whatever reason you'd want that. Um, as I said, these are, they, these are interesting, don't get me wrong, but I don't think there's much use in them anymore. Uh, just simply due to the fact that we've got much better stuff now. It's a bit like the old Geiger counters, they're really fascinating, but you can get the modern Soex type ones, which are just, you know, so tiny and light in comparison with an LCD screen and everything else. But there you go, I'm going to try and pack this all away. Uh, as I said, link will be in the description, but obviously Beastor has got the FP5 filters and all the other cool stuff. So even if you didn't want on these, I kind of recommend the FP5 filters like I have before, but there you go.